Hey, what's going on? Here's Nick. Here's me. <laughs> Jonathan, aka Meow Meow. I'm an avid hiker. It's so windproof right now. A mediocre climber. And a bit of a goofball. No bear coming around camp trying to eat my food. Stay back. In 2018, I hiked the Appalachian Trail and the Long Trail, which took a little over four months to complete. The experience challenged my mental capabilities, physical capabilities, and even my life perspective. Most importantly, it solidified my need to continue this journey of through hiking. Before taking my first steps on the AT, I knew I wanted to complete the Triple Crown. Next up was the Pacific Crest Trail. I forgot about this. That's today, dude. That's today? That's today. Do you think I'll be able to make it? Uh, I doubt it. And that's my friend Nick. He decided to join me on this one. And it would take plane, train, and automobile just to get us to Hearts Pass, 30 miles from Canada. From there, we would hike north until we found that glorious northern terminus. Oh, look how cute it is. No, not that one. That one. Our 4th of July would be spent taking our first steps toward Mexico, and I can't think of a better way to celebrate. mentally prepared for the challenges we face and the obstacles we'd have to overcome. Everything including death. Slept really well. Slept in this little cave over here. Just chilled out. But nothing would prepare us for the friendships we'd create. And then his writing. Um... So he does write. That's what kind of wood is it? No, no idea. idea. No idea. I've never seen one like that. You found it on trail. Mm. Leaning against the tree. I it wonder felt, if it's Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nick and I took a zero with a uh, broken toe at Hearts Pass. Uh, Nick's having a little bit of a knee issue, but I think we're getting it healed up. And he's looking good today. So, I'm gonna do some miles. Should be good. Met a lot of people there. Shout out to Maverick. Shout out to Two Packs. Shout out to Oracle. Shout out to the whole gang. It was a lot of fun, but it's time to get hiking.
my favorite part about through hiking so far is like when you take a break and you just get to kick your feet up uh-huh. in like a really cool spot. Uh, I was so conscious on the plane right now and I'm like, this is the best moment. Like, the package is at the door and I haven't unwrapped it yet. It's about to f***ing happen. Hiker Hut is the first place for southbound hikers to take time to hang out, rest up, and reevaluate what they're carrying in their packs. So I want to at least have something that's satisfactory at the moment. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll chop your redundancies yeah. too. We'll, yeah. We'll get you down a lot. That'll help more than anything, yeah. you know? Oh, and you can't forget the hot tub. It only fits six people, but the water is just incredible. Okay, for real? This is the hot tub. You, you gotta sacrifice this fork too. This fork? You gotta do. <laughs> you don't need to. You gotta make your decision. Yeah, you, you won't need to. Well, you. I just, I, I had to. Going into the section of the North Cascades where you need a permit. Um, it's uh, July 11th, 545. And Nick and I have taken two zeros and kind of like three Nero's to try and get his knee to be better. Um, we're now attempting to try and get up real early so that we can hopefully just kind of move slower throughout the day and cover the miles that we need. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. I just, I'm a little nervous. It feels like very shortly uh, I might be hiking alone again. So, kind of sucks. Sitting here at the bridge, waiting for the shuttle to get to Stahican. I did a uh, 17.7 in four hours and 45 minutes. It's pretty quick. I still got it. But I'm just gonna relax now because it's like 10:30 and the shuttle doesn't come until like 12, 12:30, something like that. But we didn't have to take the shuttle because we get a lift from this lovely couple here. They were kind enough to give us a tour and bring us to a couple places we wouldn't have seen otherwise. of food is that, Nick? Uh, it should be seven and a half. According to me, according to you, it's less than that, but... Well, it depends um, on how much you're eating, too. It's 3,000 like... calories a day for 7.5 days. 
I feel like I'm eating more food than you two. And you are eating more food than me, so. Hopefully it only has to last six. Fingers crossed. How's the meat feeling? A lot better. Actually, did you see that guy? Uh -huh. Met a dude named Doc and he taught me this trick. He said find where it hurts the most and then like apply like a pretty strong amount of pressure and then hold it for five to 10 seconds and then slowly release. He did it for me like five or 10 times and holy it was amazing. So far, what's your feeling on Stihikin as a trail town? Yeah, it's definitely a cool trail town. There's a giant lake in the middle of the whole thing. All the stores are really like, they're just like architecturally kind of nice. Like they're all like built of wood and kind of rustic looking and nobody's been rude. They have coin showers and coin laundry. How can you argue with that? And a post office, we got our boxes sent here. Uh, would not mind having a zero day here. Unfortunately, we're trying to get out of here as soon as possible, so that's not a, an option for us, but definitely better than Mazama, even though Mazama was still pretty good. It's a pretty interesting car pitch by Nick Coverdale. The, the blue ones, eat those. Yeah. The red ones, eat those. The um, rosebuds, eat those. I can eat them all, dude. Just I can't eat, I swear to God, like they're hella good. I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> I'm not on a long distance trail, man. How's it feel? Feels really good. Really happy. Really happy it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be, even though it was challenging. And really excited to keep going and hit 200 and 300. Well, we'll hit it shortly. I'm excited for you, man. Thanks, dude.